Hey guys, how you doing? It's the Honeydew Carpenter. I am in my shop again and today we are going to be building a burner for a forge. This is a propane burner for a forge. It's a quick, easy build. Anybody could build one and it was a lot of fun to do. So here we go. Hey guys, so this is basically in a nutshell what you're going to need. Um, this is cheap, easy, and simple. We got some braided PVC, some quarter inch MPT uh, barbed nipples, and uh, a few plumbing pieces. Now this is a one inch cap, a one inch to half inch bushing, another one inch plug, and a one inch uh, deal. Now I've seen it done um, several different ways, but I remember my dad doing it a certain way back when I was a kid using a cap and I'm going to try that way as well and we'll see what works best. Okay, one of them is going to be with a half inch nipple and the other one with a three quarter inch nipple. And this is an eighth inch nipple. This is one way to do it. Um, but I'm going to and all this is one way to do it. Friends, I, Dana Collins, armysurplus.com got me this awesome 3000 PSI hydraulic hose for aviation use. And so I'm gonna adapt it instead of this stuff to use. Um, but I'll make it both ways just to show you uh, because this is what's mostly accessible for people. Now this piece has a bend in it right there, but it's straight up until 12 inches, so you should be good. Okay, there we go. There's the half inch piece. But we do need to thread these ends, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. If you don't have a threader, let not your heart be troubled. You can just go to um, Home Depot and you can either just buy the 12 inch nipples pre-threaded or you can buy the whole piece of pipe, cut it and thread it yourself right there. They have the machine. So. As you can see, the, it just screws on just fine and it works perfect. So all I'm going to do just to keep this straight and in place is put the bushing, the half inch to one inch bushing and the cap together. Just hand tight. I'm going to pay attention to these ridges because they're going to give it a little bit of rigidity. I, I want to keep those. I am going to cut some of this material away eventually. Now this is an eighth inch MPT threader. They're really inexpensive. This is like six bucks. Okay, now I need to thread this to fit this. This is the brass fitting that's going to adapt the hose line um, into this pipe which is the fuel is going to go through. I need, this is a 030 welding tip and it has a certain type of thread on it and all I need to do is just thread the inside of this hole. I don't even need to drill it because it already has a hole about the right size to thread out.
welding tip. It's for a wire feed welder. They're really inexpensive. So it just screws right in. Now we can take and insert into the eighth inch pipe thread that we threaded on the top of the cap the fitting and that will allow me to hook on there this braided pipe but twang, which I'm not going to do just yet so what's the next step the next step is we've got to cut some air holes This is just in hand tight. I'm going to pull it out because I'm going to be cutting this. Okay, guys, I got my safety glasses on. I got my flame resistant cold weather coveralls. Thank you, Dana. ArmySurplus.com, he gave me these coveralls. Hey guys, if you like what we're doing here, give us thumbs up, like, subscribe, click the bell at the bottom and get notifications. We've got a lot of other projects coming out. Um, we're going to finish up this forge and we're just going to move on from there. So stay tuned. Hey!